When we look back on the Apollo lunar landings, most remember American astronauts like Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin, and the symbolic images of flags and footprints in the grey lunar dust of a barren but beautiful new world. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Landing men on the moon marked a unique time in our history and will forever rank as mankind's greatest achievements. But apart from the scientific legacy of these remarkable events, NASA also established a nation's superiority, where space defines the new strategic high ground of the Cold War. I believe that this nation should commit itself to achieving the goal before this decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the Earth. Kennedy's inspirational speech sent a clear message to the Soviet Union. The United States intended to win the race to space. But with spaceflight in its infancy, America's unproven space program had little idea of how to build a rocket that could fly to the moon. Today, space exploration is commonplace, but in the early 1960s, sending an astronaut beyond Earth orbit seemed near impossible. However, a brilliant German rocket scientist by the name of Werner von Braun believed he had the knowledge and vision to make Kennedy's dream a reality. With the American public galvanized and the expertise of thousands of engineers and scientists, Von Braun masterminded the development of the colossal Saturn V rocket, the mechanical masterpiece that took 24 men to the moon and launched the greatest adventure in the history of exploration. This film tells the story of the most powerful machine ever built and the men who believed it could fly. This is the story of the mighty Saturn V.